friends, coming to you today to share with you two pretty quick kitchen decor items. Now, I was in the Dollar Tree a couple months ago and came across these two little framed pictures. One says farmhouse kitchen and the other one says pantry. I thought they were super cute. The only thing that screams dollar store is the plastic frames on them. I'm hoping that by upcycling them a little bit, putting some hangers on there, that it will look a lot more expensive than Dollar Tree. So for the first one, what I decided to do was pick up a small cookie sheet from Walmart and it's by mainstays they're 88 cents they do sell them at the Dollar Tree I just happened to be at Walmart and picked one up and with my appliances being stainless steel and the fact that I wanted it to look like a cookie sheet because it's kitchen decor I'm going to leave it silver and I'm going to just hot glue this little farmhouse picture on the top and it kind of takes away from the plastic frame by building it up a little bit and then I'm just going to poke two holes in the top and tie some jute twine from there and I thought this would make the most adorable little sign to hang in my kitchen but I just took about six strands of my jute twine and then uh, got it about the length I wanted and wrapped the ends with some shipping tape kind of like a shoelace so that I can get it through those holes and then once I get it through the holes I can tie a little knot or bow or something like that but that is the first one and the next one does require a little bit of work I just had my son cut a piece of scrap plywood it's about a half an inch piece of plywood 10 by 16 my original plan was was to just staple or hot glue some burlap over the board but the more I got to thinking about it I thought was afraid that the with the weight of the picture on top pull away from the burlap so I've just decided that I'm just going to paint this piece of plywood distress it a little bit and attach my picture to the top of it with just hot glue because these this wall art is pretty light so I think with a, enough hot glue it will stay put and the color I'm going to use is the apple barrel from Walmart khaki color a piece of plywood painted and I decided not to rough up the edges with sandpaper because when you're painting on just raw plywood the paint kind of soaks in anyway and it's kind of giving it that little distressed look already just by seeing the different tones of the wood grain so I'm just basically going to leave it like it is I'm going to uh, nail a little uh, soda pop tab on the back of it as my hanger and then I'm just going to hot glue my picture on there and then I may embellish it with a little bit of twine. I'm going to play around with it and see what I can come up with and then I'll hang it up and show you. Here's the first one. I'm going to move in a little closer. I mean how stinking cute for two dollars if you already have your twine. I just tied a little burlap bow on there. I didn't even hot glue it. I just think this is adorable with it being in the kitchen, being a cookie sheet, and the framed picture. All right, here so, is my pantry door. And I've put my sign up at the top. Love it there. You'll have to just ignore my grapes. We are slowly transitioning out of the Italian chef and grapes and all that. And I am almost got rid of everything but painting the kitchen. So I love it up here. I just wrapped the ends of the wood in some twine. And even if I bought the paint and twine and everything, you could make these little signs for just a few dollars. So I hope you enjoyed both projects. I hope they inspire you in some way. And be sure and check out the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Store framed art. You'd be surprised how really cute some of them are. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.